Virgo, welcome to your July 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot today. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do offer free bi-monthly tarot readings um, every 1st and 15th of the month. So let's get started. What is the central theme of Virgo's reading today? So you're coming out of deceit. There was deceit and you're coming out of deceit. Three cards for what's going on in Virgo's mind. Three cards for what's going on in Virgo's mind. Okay, okay so I have the Page of Wands in the reverse. Uh, this is making excuses, never ready for anything, fearing change fear and travel. There's a lot of fear here with this card. There's bad news, spoiled, uh, foolish risks, terribly unreliable. Um, this is any fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo it has that fire energy of being temperamental. Uh, volcano temper, spontaneous, impulsive. I have the two of swords in the reverse. So this is confusion, information overload, being indecisive. This is the card of Libra. And I have the tower reverse. So this is a major life event and it's advanced warning of change. Um, avoiding disaster, being tipped off, uh, damage control. And it's the card of Aries. I'm seeing a lot of Aryan energy here. There, I, I feel a lot of Aryan energy here. With all the red and the seed and the power and the wands. What's going on in Virgo's family and home life? Alright, so I have the King of Cups in the upright. This is uh, giving somebody good advice. Providing a shoulder to cry on. Uh, helping and raising a child, seeking advice from a family friend, trying to keep everyone calm, trusting in human nature, um, being a natural healer, disciplining your emotions, being empathic, being a diplomat. What is going on in Virgo's family and home life? I have temperance in the reverse. We could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces here. Uh, definitely ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. We also might be having some weight issues here. There could be some weight issues here. Um, there's inappropriate behavior, imbalances, poor timing, not learning lessons, being overindulgent, excessive behavior, uh, investigating fights, need for counseling. And then I have the two of pentacles in the reverse. It's being disorganized. So see being very disorganized here. What's going on in Virgo's social? Okay, so I have the tent. Romantic and social life. I have the Ten of Swords. Complete mental breakdown, being backstabbed, severe conflict. There could be abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, or even physical abuse with this one. Um, being attacked physically or mentally or socially or as any type of attack. Gossip, hitting rock bottom. This is a Gemini. What else is going on in uh, Virgo's social and romantic life? Ace of Swords in reverse, confusion, chaos, lack of clarity. A lot of painful lessons. There's a lot of conflict here. What else is going on in Virgo's romantic and social life? Three of Cups. I have celebrations though. There is friends, community here, a party, emotional growth. Um, this could be with a Cancer. Or just in the time period of cancer between June 21st and July 22nd. Being uh, moody, emotional, manipulative, 
um, but romantic. There's a need for security here. Three, three cards to help Virgo. Three cards to help Virgo. Because I have the Ace of Pentacles, there's potential for financial success. Um, saving for the future, investments, setting long-term goals, starting a new diet or workout reg regimen. I have the Ten of Pentacles here, so there's long-term financial security, permanent success, extreme wealth, best of everything, long-standing family business inheritances. And then I have the Seven of Cups. So this is trying to find meaning in life, soul searching. You have multiple choices, daydreaming, out of touch with reality, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusion. It's Scorpio energy, so it's I desire. It's intensely sexual, passionate, all or nothing type. Um, asking probing questions, being secretive, mysterious, very skeptical and sarcastic. Um, either self-mastery or being a slave, being hypnotic and vindictive. All right, three cards for what's going on in Virgo's money. What's going on with Virgo's money? The hair fought reversed. There's breaking rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules, um, being unconventional. Two of wands in the reverse, Aries. Fear of the unknown, lack of planning. Page of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, it could be anything. There's news of money coming in, loan applications, there's debt here, savings, goal setting, logical, workable plan, um, being committed, loyal, solid, grounded, start financially. Um, could be a mortgage application. The High Priestess reversed. Not using your intuition, this is Pisces. Ignoring your inner calling, lack of knowledge, not listening, impatient, not being aware of talent, lack of female friends, wanting to be left alone, emotional mental imbalances, secrets revealed, breaking trust, being lazy, being reliant on psychics, Spending too much money on psychics. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. Things are coming in slow and steady. Right. What in terms of um, career? What's going on in terms of Virgo's career? Things are coming in fast with the Eight of Wands. Uh, there's text messages. There's lots of communication here. Powerful energies being released at the speed of light. Life's taking off. Projects are showing success. There's phone calls, text messages, emails. There's just a whirlwind of social activity. High spirits, excitement. Um, it's just trouble-free time. And it's the card of Sagittarius. What else is going on in terms of Virgo's career? Two cards for Virgo's career. Heartbreak. Loss, deep sadness, Libra, trauma, vicious arguments, hurtful words, a need to communicate. Three's a crowd. Three and three. There's three there. The devil reversed. Alignments restored, freeing yourself, being yourself again, 
um, escaping abuse, walking away, enough is enough, freedom, conquering, overcoming temptation. Hey Virgo, I hope that you enjoyed your reading today. Um, please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I do do bi-monthly tarot readings. Um, thank you again.